Hello my friends, I continue to work on VIP package about dress Lille and uh, today I will create this wedge, it's the biggest one, I call it Leilani and it's for lesson number 3. Here also we have color design, I will use four different colors, um, this dark one, next this one more blue turquoise, green turquoise and very light, light beautiful Italian viscose. Uh, nice color. So these four colors I will use to create this really awesome wedge and uh, I will start from the most dark color 28.99. I am using crochet hook 1.7 millimeters, small steel hook my favorite and this thread I will use first to create beginning of this wedge. Uh, first four rows are ready. Now I can cut this thread and I need to leave tail around 20 centimeters. I will join another color and continue my work. So this beginning is very small, just because we have very thin part of this wedge. And now I will join second color, this one, number 858. And next I will make four rows more and they will be bigger. And now the last two stitches I will finish second part and again I will cut this color and I will join uh, turquoise green. So now let's make the last two stitches here with four times yarn over and uh, when you are making a long stitches like this you should place this all loops very close to the top of the hook and in this way you will not stretch too much this all stitches. And the last one, two, three, four times yarn over, and the last long stitch to finish this row. One more chain, and again I will cut this thread. Leave tail, yes, like this, and fix the yarn. Uh, now we have two colors, and shape like heart. We can say <laughs> looks like heart almost. And uh, now I will join uh, this color number 606 and I need to make very interesting design because right now I need to make uh, uh, beautiful lines by using this color between these stitches and only when I will finish this row, this part, I will uh, continue to make rows here, yes, next row. So this design I really enjoy to make. It's not so easy, but the result is really magical. So I just finished to make uh, these uh, bright lines at the back side of our wedge. At the front side, uh, we should iron and stretch everything and we will get very nice, beautiful result. Now I will work here at the top. I will make next rows by using this beautiful thread. Uh, so I finished to make two more rows by using uh, this beautiful bright thread and I fixed it thread by pin because after um, additional row, one that I will make right now, I will continue to use the same thread. For additional row, again I will make, make stitches at the back side of our lace between stitches that I already have here and for this I will use our turquoise light turquoise color, it's Italian viscose, already three threads we have here journey together and I will use the same crochet hook. So let's work. So I just finished to make this one additional row at the back side of our lace and uh, now I can cut this, the most light thread, again leave tail, don't forget about this, fix the yarn. And after I can remove this pin and again I will work with this bright thread. I finish to make the next two rows by using bright turquoise thread. And now again I will use a light turquoise to make a few stitches at the back side of our wedge. And next, uh, again, I will continue to use this thread, and that's why I've used pin to fix it. So, step by step, I am creating this really big wedge in few colors. 
I just finished it to make this additional small row at the back side of lace with light stitches. And now I will continue to use this green turquoise color. Just I need to make uh, two rows, I think, and uh, I will prepare bases for eight petals. And after to finish these petals, just to create them again, I will use the most lighter color, and this will be. Uh, end of our wedge, so it should be made in the most light color. And I really enjoyed to make these petals. I, um, you have the same petals in my flower talisman, so this will be, uh, will be really nice design. And also all these colors are really special. So now I will continue to work next two rows. And now we need to make the last base from such two puff stitches. And I will make one more single crochet next. Uh, five chain loops to move up. One, two, three, four, five. Two times yarn over and puff stitch treble crochet. And once again, two times yarn over and puff stitch treble crochet. Five chain loops to move down. Join to the same arch, two single crochet stitches, and after switching loops, one, two, three, single crochet, after two chain loops, and the last will be double crochet stitch to the end of this row, to the last stitch here that we have at this side. And that's all, I finished to make eight uh, bases. Now I can cut this thread, I will not use it anymore. And we will start to use uh, light thread, the most light thread in our design to make really beautiful petals. In, and now I will make two rows, the last two rows. So one more chain, I will cut this thread. And this part of work, really big one, <laughs> is ready. Now let's make these fantastic petals. Uh, so you can see I made first petals, they are very beautiful. And between petals we have shell like this with one pico. Uh, and now I will continue to make next petals. This thread has a really beautiful color and it's very soft. Even when I work with three threads, journey together, it's not difficult. The most important is to find the point where you can hold the thread. So when you have the right tension of thread, yes, you can work with viscous and it's not so slippery. Just you need to catch the yarn very good. And yes, work will be not difficult at all. Now I'm making petal. It's really a beautiful solid because I'm making stitches close to each other, different size, and in such way I can get a very beautiful shape of these petals. And we will have really a nice result. In total, this big wedge, Leilani, it has eight petals. After I finish this row, I will start to make the last one, just edging with picots and small stitches. And I will make this edging around all eight petals. Now I need to make shell between these two petals. And after I will start to make next petal after uh, I will hide tails yes we have a lot of tails here and the most interesting will be to iron and stretch this element just to see this awesome design and yes this all colors together when everything is straight and you can clearly see all stitches and size of this element and also beautiful shape of this wedge so i cannot wait to see this result for me it's very interesting each time when i'm making wedges like this it's my own design so i really love to make them uh, 
Uh, now I just need to make last stitches, uh, edging around this petal. So just small picots and single crochet stitches. And very soon I will finish last row and I can start to hide tails by using a needle with big eye and after I will stretch and iron this element. So now this picot and single crochet stitches. And only one side I have here the last petal number eight. From here I should make one chain loop and four treble crochet stitches around this arch I think, yes around this arch. So four stitches. And now I think the last pico I should make. Let's see if I will make from five chain loops. Finish to make pico and just one single crochet here, one more chain. Now I can cut the thread. And our wedge is ready. Uh, just now I need to iron and stretch hide tails. This last steps till I see this really nice result. Uh, now I will hide first tail, so this light color three threads here I have joined. So three threads insert to the needle with big eye. After, it's very nice to hide tail here because we have a lot of stitches in one place and it's nice to insert needle here just three times in the same area insert needle like this change direction and that's all in the middle and after we can cut the thread very close to the lace and first tail i hide uh, all the same let's see here maybe i will show you uh, one tail uh, here we have long uh, stitches and also long chains so it's more difficult to hide the tail but uh, you can do like this you can insert needle in the middle of stitch this long one and I can even go a little bit yes here and now in the same place I will insert a needle and just cross the same area and this all threads will cross each other and I work it with long area so now everything is okay I can cut the thread and that, that's all uh, now maybe let's hide this one more tail together and I will show you maybe this one bright where we have it, this tail. For example, we can cross some area just to get to reach to another place here and hide this tail very accurate. So let's cross this part. Also, I can cross this area. And now here I can um, just insert needle and in this place I can hide this tail first time after in the same area 
change direction of your work second one and you can do this once again and after I will cross I will just cut the thread okay just do everything not tight very carefully and slowly and hide tails like this now I will hide a few tails more and finally we will uh, just start to stretch this element this wedge and I will show you everything how it looks just want to hide this tail here okay now I will hide this all tails and we will start to stretch and iron our beautiful wedge so now i'm using steam iron just to open this grid and by fingers we should stretch everything really strong because we need to open and we need to see the real size of our wedge only wedge in full size in maximum size we can use for composition <laughs> because we need to see what area this element will close yes that's why it's very important to stretch it maximum and slowly we start to see this really amazing grid now let's ha let's stretch this part step by step this side this shell you can see this one in different directions just stretch it now this middle part with long stitches and also this side this and now this beautiful petals just we need to open each pico just to have really nice nice shape of these petals and accurate result also we have this shell between petals we need to stretch it and open and after next petal like this you can see these two petals they have very nice design now I will continue to iron everything So our beautiful wedge is ready. And now you can see this really magical result. Uh, at the top part we have more dark colors, but also at the back I created this long chains just to mix two colors. And after we have shells with long stitches and in the end we used the most light color to create these beautiful uh, petals like this yes now you can see also this shell with petals really awesome and middle part and the result is very 
tender, silky. It's a little bit heavy. It's perfect thread for tender laces. And yes, I love to use this threads for long skirts, for blouses, and especially for evening and also wedding dresses. I love this wedge. <laughs> it looks really amazing. And it's ready to use. I will send it to my client. Okay, for today it's all. I will continue to work and next in the next video I will show you next steps about this VIP package. I need to make few more elements and after I will pack everything and this package will be ready to, to send. Right now I am able to send packages again by using UPS delivery company. Uh, so delivery time is around 10-12 days. It's really great. Once again, I want to wish you big inspiration, gorgeous crochet results, and uh, see you very soon. Stay safe and bye-bye for now.